Today we're taking a look at the new C7 Corvettes coming to Greenville. This has been a pretty highly anticipated car. One of the hottest cars coming to the game right now. A lot of people were uh, not the happiest that it didn't come in the April Fool's update, but today you can get a bit of a closer look at it before it does officially come to the game. We got quite a bit. I think right now we only have the base, the Stingray, Z06, and the ZR1, and those are just the only trims. There's no variations on them. But soon we'll have every single one of them, including Grand Sports and trims for every single type of Corvette, all shown here. Before going more in depth with these cars, here's how they sound, starting from the lowest to the highest tier. Stingray right here. They all have the same rev sound, so I'm only doing startup and idles, and uh, here's the Grand Sport. Z06. ZR1. And the Heen HPE 1000, which sounds uh, pretty gnarly. We got Gabe and Gabe here. What do you think of the C7s? I mean, it's pretty great. I, I kind of like the Stingray, honestly. Kind of low-key. Yeah, first thing I got to say, this actually right here is not a Stingray, which is kind of weird. This is just a base model. I don't even think this exists in real life, but apparently it does in Greenville. Solid. That sounds good. <laughs> Who wants to drive this? Because I want to drive one of the other Stingrays up here. The actual Stingray, I guess. Yeah, I can drive this. So this right here is just, I guess, a normal Stingray. Let me look at the trim list, actually. This is probably just the Manta S, which is what they're going to call it in game. Okay. It's not too bad. Uh, it doesn't have the black housing around the uh, taillights, which I don't know how I feel about that, but it doesn't look too bad. Do they all have the Z06 style wing? Yeah, I think so. All mm -hmm. the base models are Stingrays anyway. But just look at the design in general, though. This thing, it's still pretty reminiscent of a real C7, as you can probably see. Out of all of these cars here... All the trims, the Stingrays are probably the most distinctive to the real version. The front yeah. bumper is significantly different. It kind of looks like it's smiling, which I can't get out of my head. One other thing about this is kind of like the C8. It has the separate exhaust tips in the back. It's kind of nice, honestly. Yeah, I like how it is in real life with the center, but I mean, to make it different, it's right, uh, right. not too bad. And uh, front up here, you got these headlights, which this is the DRL, and this is the turn signal down here. And then just got the side marker, which it still looks pretty similar to the real C7 headlights, but it kind of reminds me of F-type headlights, honestly. Uh, I see the new Lotus, the Amir, I think it's called. It kind of does look like that, actually, with the way the DRL is up here. One little detail I do really like on this car is the Durant logo right there in the headlight. I'm not sure which trims these are, but these are all normal Stingrays right here. Normal Stingray, normal Stingray, oh, normal Stingray. The paint on this one is just insane. Yeah, come look at this. Specifically up here. Oh yeah, this is Black Rose. Probably my favorite C7 color. It's just, it's great. You don't see it very often either. Doggin did a pretty nice job of replicating it as well with the uh, new metallic paints, which this thing is going to come factory in dealership with these metallic paints, which I'm pretty excited about. This one, no metallic. This one, no metallic. Or is it metallic? I can't tell. Not uh, metallic. These two over here are also Stingrays, but they're the Stingray track packs. That's actually kind of sick. I really like this blue one. It just looks like a Z06. I don't really understand why Dogga made a wide body Stingray, which is basically just a Grand Sport, but we do also have Grand Sports. These things are like not quite a Grand Sport, but just kind of, you know, getting there, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's also got Z06 wheels on it, it looks like. One great thing about these cars, which I think a lot of people are really happy about, is the interiors. Every single one of them, like real Corvettes, have the roof able to come off. So in game, it translates to being convertible, and uh, these things have interiors. Every one Wait, of them. Wait, every single? Okay, that's that's big. Yeah, that's every big. single one of these C7. So there's different interior colors for all these. Let's see which colors each one has. Actually going to be a surprise. All right, this one. This one. This one. All right, there we go. So this one right here, Gabe, what do you think? Blue oh. interior, your favorite dream spec? I, I looked at the other ones, and this one, yeah, this one's good. Oh, this is actually really high quality of uh, leather texture. Yeah, it's a PBR leather, I think. Um, the Alcantara is not PBR, but it's still there. I'm not going to lie, though, in the back here, it kind of looks like a skull. <laughs> while we're talking about the interior, you want to show off the dash, too, while it's on? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, look at that. This turns on the dash, and it turns on the screen right there. Look at the dash. You see the headlight logo? Oh, the yeah, I didn't even see that. It was covered by the wheel. That's sick that it actually shows up. Yeah. Oh, and the turn signals, too. What? 
One thing I would like to see in the interior, what would have been so cool is imagine uh, you could press some keybind like G or something and it'd lower down the... Uh... Oh, well, speaking of G. Oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, same. I completely forgot this is on all cards with interior lighting. So you can do a couple different colors. Oh, that pink is nice. The red, white, and blue. Oh, that's I actually, actually sick. That might be my favorite one. <laughs> Dude. I'd probably turn that on the most in mine. Dude, I'm going to own like, I might own every trim. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> the one thing that I am a little bit questioning on is um, the door panel lighting. It just doesn't follow any lines. It's just like a random line through the door panel yeah yeah but it's pretty cool anyway so what interior yeah. does this one have let me make it daytime again black and gray interior i guess yeah i think it's a darker gray this one is a lighter gray over here oh yeah is it oh yeah slightly different and then brown with the black interior this one's interesting because um of the brown fabric i wish it wasn't the roblox fabric texture <laughs> is it yeah. actually that yeah it's it like rust that's something. it is the roblox fabric texture it seems shinier like, than that it looked kind of like mud at first, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. The stitching in it, though, it just it feels a bit big. The last interior over here is also the black with brown combo. So This one's bad. great with white. Something about white just works so well on C7s, which is why my RP Series 1 is white. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this thing out. Pick whatever Stingray you want. Yeah, I'll obviously do the base so we can show, this like, right. Oh, I forgot the interior on this one, too. We haven't seen this one. Uh, oh, so it's just black. black. Oh, fully black, I think. Yeah. I kind of like the full black, honestly. Is this thing an auto? Doggan told me every single one of these cars is a 7-speed manual, but... Every one of them looks like it has an automatic shifter. <laughs> yeah, like I can't tell. This alignment is uh, something because my wheels are completely straight right now. Anyway, let me... Yeah, here's the actual rev sound. I spent uh, a bit of time looking for this one. Oh, uh, turn signals on the dash is just great. Shifting below 3000 RPM solid a lot of gb cars their sounds are taken from high rpms like the actual sound itself so it sounds kind of weird in low rpms this thing is taken from low rpms and pitched way up which actually makes it sound pretty decent low rpm sounds like one i just i have to say it like it has that corvette sound to it i'm pretty happy with how these turned out oh that idle oh yeah i forgot about the turn signals they're actually sequentials as well look at that oh that's something different with the bass look oh is it Interesting, True. interesting. Big screams. Yeah. Let's see, what do these top out at? This thing is actually pretty quick for a Stingray. That's 190 for top. What's that thing top at? I had about 190 for the top too. Yeah, these oh. things probably share the same tune. We see the front turn signals. Oh yeah, those are down there. Forgot about that. Turns off the DRL. Oh, sweet. Let's see, does this thing have launch control or is it only the uh, higher trims that have that? Mine has launch oh. control. 3, 2, 1! Ooh. Ooh. The harmonizing of the launch control. Okay, Absolutely. we're getting like the same shifts right now. So weird. Why do my gears feel sort of in here? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Oh, how? How? How did, how did I you think save that? that? I don't know. That's terrifying. Also, we're doing this right after the April Fool's update with the desert map, which is uh, some. Moving up the ladders of the Corvette trims, we get the Grand Sports. Never before seen in Greenville with some normal wheels, but twisted. Kind of weird to look at. It pretty much just looks like a normal Grand Sport, but if you look at it, there's some differences. Just looking at the design, the general design of the Corvette again, it's got more like squared taillights, which... Yeah, Speaking of light agree. designs as well, he almost did pop-up headlights for this car. Everyone, I think, ever hated it besides like a select few people. So it got changed to normal headlights. So what are you guys' opinions on that one? Um, the hate was definitely granted. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> this is one of my favorite colors to be the C7s. Oh yeah, I'm not even sure which color this I is. I agree. But the, these two nice. specifically. Yeah. This one is metallic as well, so it's shiny. These pair together really well. I think uh, yellow is kind of a classic color for the C7s. Yeah, definitely. For sure. The Grand Sport that these sounds were sampled off of is this color. Oh, really? It's, I remember, blue? yeah. It had black wheels, though. It was one of my favorite specs. I'm not the biggest fan of the amber turn signals. I just don't think it fits an American car. I've never been a big fan of amber turn signals, but uh, I know Gabe loves them for some reason. Turn yeah, it kind of looks aftermarket. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of those, but I am glad he went with sequentials, though. It looks pretty good. Interior on this one here, just got the normal, like, gray and black combo. Interior on this one is... Good choice. The same. Good choice. Yeah, good choice, I think. No, 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 no. This is black on black, and this one's black on gray. Oh, yeah, this one is great. I didn't even know it. There's a lot of detail in this interior that nobody's ever going to notice. Pretty nice. It's like the Stingray spoiler, but just massive and more curved off. That's not bad. I don't think it's going to be any different than the 
stingrays and stuff here, but take it for a quick spin. The Grand Sport is one of my favorite trims. It feels so underrated. For sure, yeah. I wish these had the two stripes on the fenders. I really like the yellow one on the road. Yeah, this thing looks great, actually, just rolling. <laughs> I also just realized the tiny little side mark on the side. I don't know why it looks so funny on this really sleek design. Yeah, I don't know why it's a bump. I don't mind it. It's such a tiny detail. It's just kind of funny. And, uh, I didn't even notice the three deep. dots on the mirror for the turn signals. Oh, yeah, it does have mirror turn signals. Yeah. That's one thing as well. That's pretty cool. I think this might be my favorite color, in-game at least. This is a classic C7 spec, in my opinion. This is the yellow. Was yeah. this the release color? Yeah, for the Z06, it was. Moving on to the Z06s, speaking of... We got Finally. this one right here, the Long Beach Red. Sorry, this black. <laughs> this, this one? This is great. Oh, this yeah. This thing is great. I love okay. the chrome taillights on the C7s. It does have the red reflector up top, which I'm not the biggest I fan of. I kind of like it, honestly. It yeah, has I guess a it does kind of break contrast. it up a little bit. The spoiler's mean. You don't really notice the difference in the spoiler too much, but like, it's got a lot more depth to it than Grand Sport spoiler. I really like the chrome taillights on the red because it just like breaks it up a little bit. I feel like it's too much red. Oh, yeah, yeah good take. Oh, that's great. That is great, seriously. Let's take a look at the interior. Oh, brown, brown is a good brown. choice. Oh, I love this. No, this is the first black on brown we've seen. It's right. Alcantara. I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, that's great. Oh, okay. This is the best spec by far. I'm sorry. Ignore okay, the yeah. Blue one. The red this interior is, is great. absolutely phenomenal. I'm surprised yeah, you're not flipping so out good. over the blue interior, though, because the second I open the blue interior, you're like, oh! I don't care about the blue. We that got red really Alcantara in here. So, Ooh, dude, look at the red leather. That's actually really nice. I know. In the this sun? A, no, this is so good. <laughs> I don't think this exists in real life. The blue interior on the C7, that's only a C8 thing, but it's kind of incorporated here fictionally. I am getting C8 vibes for sure, but th this thing tears it to the ground. Uh, the black yeah, and the white turns specifically, they bring out the American flag up front. It's just great. This is currently my view. If I try to go in first person, if you check the group, <laughs> that's Can't all see I see over the steering wheel. I can't, no. I like how your legs are just under the seat. They might even be under the car, actually. If I'm <laughs> <laughs> a Flintstones car. Yeah, right. I'm gonna hop in the blue interior one because I want to look at this blue interior anymore. I'm not the biggest I'm fan so of it, but at least it's vibrant, I guess. I'm so excited to drive this. All right, go ahead. Oh yeah, I forgot about the uh, supercharger sounds. Oh, this I haven't heard them yet. Insane. Oh, I can hear it a little bit. This thing is a pretty good speed too. I was expecting this thing to just be ridiculously fast, and it's not really. Go to like 50 mile an hour into fifth gear. Here, let me get over. And then just doing a little pull. So good. Hearing like the boost. Let's try it out. The supercharger sound is actually so nice. It's nice having a different supercharger sound in game. I will not lie about that. Oh, just that flyby with a supercharger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is one of my favorite trims. Has to be. The supercharger sounds were very last minute, by the way, like 10 minutes before the review. I think it was worth it for the wait. I'm not going to lie. So what do these top out at? Because I see the gauges go a little bit faster. Oh, you just drop a gear and disappear in this thing, dude. This thing's actually really fast. This thing sounds great. I know. I love the gear ratios. It makes it sound so much better. 195. So five miles an hour faster than the other ones. Oh, brakes, dude. Brakes. I guess I shouldn't have expected too Whoa. much going almost 200 and braking, but... Uh... Third gear gets loose. Three, two, one! Our race was falling. I can't even see back there. I'm just looking straight at my pillar. Uh, like, probably three car links. Oh, that's a lot more on my screen. Okay. Ooh. I like how you can still hear the V8 over the supercharger, then. Yeah, it's a great volume, actually. Dogan did a pretty good job at where he put the volume at, because it's just enough to where you can hear it a good bit, the supercharger, but also still hear the V8 a good bit as well. This thing in black is so nice. Yeah. The red interior great. is my favorite part of that trim. I don't even care about the black. It does look pretty Ooh. nice in that, though. Now, moving on from yeah, the Z06s, we got three Z06 trims, two Grand Sport trims, and then we got a bunch of Stingrays over there. Over here, we got one, two, three, and four 
ZR1 trims. Right here, we got the pretty much normal spec ZR1 here, the Sebring orange with the Sebring orange accents. Pretty nice. I love the exposed supercharger. I don't know if it's like this on the C7s. No, it is. It's the, not. The hood is taking only, inspiration yes. from the C6 ZR1, yeah. which I think is a pretty cool design choice. Look at the flake on that Sebring orange. Is Sebring orange even a metallic killer in real life? I don't remember. I but don't think so. I don't really care, though, because Sebring like orange it. looks great. It looks here. good in the game, yeah. You get two wing options. Just like real life, you have the big wing and the low wing. This is the big wing here, but uh, the low wing is a bit different. I think it's literally the exact same wing as it's the just Stingray. Stingray. Yeah. yeah, Stingray wing, but in carbon fiber. I <laughs> actually don't mind that kind of gives it like a sleeper look these are the drag packs the low wing cars what is this yeah. gold trim this here is the bronze pack so it's got the bronze pinstriping here and the bronze wheels which i don't know how i feel about the bronze wheels but it's a nice touch i guess for the bronze pack also got like I the bronze vents which is interesting i feel like this would look good in black or white i'm not sure yeah, about I was the same thing. that's what dog originally showed it to me in is black and it looked pretty decent in that what would it look like in the that purple color that you like do you think that would look good it might actually. This, it, right this is right here, pretty much. She doesn't oh, have the bronze oh, pack yeah. wheels. And then over here, you got like Gabe's Gabe spec right here. You got the blue <laughs> on blue. This reminds me more of the C6 ZR1 blue, if you know what yes. that looks so, like. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I think we should start this one up. Yeah, sure. The interior on this one. Oh, I'm actually surprised this doesn't have the orange accents like the real ones do. The real ones have orange accents on the uh, the orange, whatever this pack is. On called. the interior? Yeah. Well, I didn't even notice. Look at the bronze on the back of like the lower part of the wing here. Oh, yeah, it's notice that. See what interior this has. Probably bronze, I'd assume. Yep. Ooh! No, it's like bronze. No, it's not bronze. It's bronze. Oh, it's just uh, completely black. Interior. I was hoping for blue interior. Oh, it has accents. See? Oh, it is a little bit blue. Yeah, that's not Easy. bad. I'll take the orange one. Uh, yeah, we'll take the bronze. Oh, this thing is fast, and we're not even yeah, to the heat. I'm kind of scared of the speed for this one. Oh, let's do launch control, just right off the bat. I want to see how insanely quick this is. I'm going to do automatic. <laughs> Three, two, one! Okay. Okay, that's actually insane. In fact, this is the stock trim too. It's not even the yeah. heat. Okay. Oh, all right. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> this thing is wild, dude. This thing is kind of scary fast. <laughs> the flames out of this thing too. Look at that. What is the top on this thing? Let's figure that out. Oh, 214. 14. 214. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. These things are ridiculous, dude. I don't even know what the heen trim is going to be like when I'm driving this. I have no idea. I'm interested to find out, that's for sure. Third gear burnout. It starts to just do a rolling burnout, and it's so good. You can even do a burnout with launch control on this thing. All right, moving over here to the Heen trim. I'm a little terrified of this trim, honestly. This trim right over here is the HPE 1000 Z06. Probably going to be a bit rowdy. Is this the first Heen car with a 3D Heen badge? I think it might be. I didn't even realize that was 3D. But yeah, are you guys ready to hear this thing? I don't know. <laughs> Turning my volume half up. Get ready for some chopping. Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I want to turn my Roblox volume all the way up. Okay, that's a bit dangerous to do. I'm just letting you know. I'm just going to do that. And turn my PC volume all the way up. Are you going to be all right? Blast your eardrums out, dude. Well, I just got to get it like the real life experience. You okay, got to okay. understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> okay. Oh, that shot. That's so loud. Okay, I'm turning it down. Dude, that shot. If you listen to it, by the way, this is a really long loop for the idol. So it changes a bit. Chops faster and slower sometimes. Oh, that's just yes. Yeah, so loud in the interior. Oh the yeah, the dash, dash is different on the so Heen as well. Sick. Yeah, the dash has the Heen logo and it's orange. Yeah, look at the center console too. Here, I'm. Oh yeah. I can hear that thing chop from all the way over here. See me over here? Yes, I do. Let me keep backing up. I'll let you know when I don't hear it chop anymore. I still hear it. I still hear it. I still hear it. I'm gonna start recording. Get in and start it up. I'll just start this thing up and you start that thing up. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna give it one rip in first gear. Woo yeah. Oh, the chop. Dude, the chop. I'm just gonna be idling this car like every time I drive it. <laughs> This thing is really smooth for being 1,000 horsepower. 
it has a really good gear ratio because this thing is based off the uh, ct5 blackwing tune the heen one i'm not the biggest fan of the gear ratios in that thing like sixth gear is just really long but this still has i think the same gear ratios as the normal c7 so it drives hearing great. that shot behind me like just in first person you can still faintly hear it even over this idle this thing that, moves that thing oh <laughs> that thing i'm about to die dude that thing is gone this thing really doesn't get as loose as i thought it would it's like the best tires in the world yeah it really is what i found weird about this car though is it's a z06 but it has the Grand Sport spoiler and taillights, which is interesting. Yeah, this thing is fast. I will say that right now. And top is actually slower than the ZR1, 213. The heat trim was a bit of a work in progress during the recording, so after the fact, one day later, the top has been increased to 230 miles per hour, and that's what you should expect to be seeing when it drops in game. I also got the red interior as well as the Z06 taillights and wing, the absolute ultimate C7 trim. I know I'm buying it. Gosh. My shifts weren't even the best there. This thing's still like quick too. Like I'm at 120. Yeah. I'm at uh, 200. <laughs> we gotta make a switch, dude. Have fun. I haven't tried it out. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> that was actually sick. Oh, okay. What about Silas to treat one of these things? I don't know. I feel like you just get banned instantly from whatever server he's playing in. He probably managed to find a way to get banned from a public server driving that. <laughs> the supercharger wine just like cutting it. I out. know. It just has a very short distance, but the rest of the rev keeps going. Oh, that's too good, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude, you hear it struggling? That actually sounds sick, even though that's supposed to sound like that. Oh goodness! All right, Gabe, Great. send it. <laughs> I guess let's go back one final time to the C7s and uh, check them all out. All huge lag spike, biggest lag yeah, spike. I, I lag way. too. It's when all the C7s load in. <laughs> oh, is it actually that? <laughs> I yeah. mean, I don't blame the game. I mean, there is like uh, a lot. If you don't know, the reason that there's so many cars that when we review stuff, sometimes at least there's duplicates, is because we have a history of ruining the cars and then the developers need to come back in and respawn them. Dog has kind of just given up on that and given us some backups. Yeah, thankfully, besides like the, what, three crashes we've had, we've been driving it pretty responsibly. Yeah, Somewhat. So. I think it's easier because their cars are not off-roading them. When we do the truck reviews, we really uh, oh, put dude, them we face. beat on those things. <laughs> So far, we have not lost a single Corvette, which I'm pretty proud of us for. But yeah, here are all the uh, trims lined up. Any final thoughts on this uh, black C7 Z06 with the red interior? Really great spec. Like, this is just insane. If I can spec a Heen one like this, I'll do it. I wish you put the red interior on the Heen one. I know. Best spec like Grand Sport. No, this is Z06. Oh, this is? Oh, yeah. my bad. And then uh, Long Beach Red Z06, the blue Grand Sport. Yep. This yellow might be my favorite in game. And the white Stingray here, not bad. Classic color. The blue Stingray track pack, the gray one. Something I noticed different about this green one, look at the grill on the front, it's silver. Oh yeah. And then the final black rose car right here. But uh, yeah, that is the C7 Corvette review. We got a lot of them today, and I'm pretty excited for these to come to the game. I'm definitely going to be driving them. I'm pretty excited for these things, and I know a bunch of other people are as well. They still want to see seven in real life, honestly. Yeah, I always wanted one, so uh, you know, maybe one day. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I guess look forward to the C7s.